Well, it's halfway through April now, April 16th, and I just want to show you my progress on my veggie starts that I've got going. I've started to harden them off the past few days. Um, I know it's still too early to plant them, but I'm getting, anticipating putting them in my uncle's greenhouse within the next week. And then uh, I'm going to be brave and try to plant a few of the cabbages and kales underneath one of my hoop houses here that I have out at the garden that I've shown you in other videos. I'll post a little link at the top in the, of the video um, to show you just sort of how I made the hoop house. But um, yeah, things are coming along well. Got my kale. And I do the paper pots. I think as I mentioned in other videos, all I have to do is just drop them in. And then I don't have to worry about disturbing the roots. So that's kale. Got some cabbages here. Um, some of these cabbages are looking really good over here. Um, I just want to see if I can find some of them have roots coming out the bottom. That's how well they're doing right now. Um, what else do we have over here? Here's asparagus that I planted quite a while ago as well. So I'll post a little link at the top of the video as well so you can see them from a few weeks ago. Um, they don't get very big the first season. This is what I found last year. They probably get maybe another half foot bigger. And then uh, that's about it for the first year to like get good root growth. I planted a few peas here just to try because um, last year I planted a bag I got and had no germination whatsoever so they seem to be germinating fine inside. Uh, I've got some more kale over here and here's some uh, onions as well that I'm trying again from seed. So I've had these going since mid-February, early February and I keep clipping them with scissors to cut back the um, st stems there to try to get some good root growth and get the bulbs big for the springtime. And I get them in the ground there. Okay, so here we go. I've planted some more cabbages and stuff here to have a bit of a later season crop here. I've got some stuff coming up here. I forget what I planted there, but they sprouted out overnight. And what's back here? Oh, yeah, I've got some lettuce here. I've planted as well. So, a bunch of lettuces. Germination rate doesn't seem to be so good. There's a lot that didn't come up, but these guys are coming up quite well spinach so I'll pot the water them they seem pretty dry and then down here we've got all my tomatoes going here so most of these a lot of these tomatoes I save from seed and people have given me seed and as well some from West Coast seeds and so here's some other onions I planted as well so it's just to show you the difference between uh, potting soils I use the normal potting soil for these ones in the started them out two weeks before the other ones I showed you from upstairs and these ones the ones upstairs I used pro mix with mycorrhizae and these ones just basically straight up your potting soil regular potting soil and it's a world of difference so I'll never use potting soil again so I got more cabbages back here as well and then here's some basil these are the free basil seeds I got from West Coast seeds and they're coming up quite nicely so, looking good. Back here I've got some peppers. They're coming along quite nicely. And then over here I've got some sunflowers I started from seed that I've saved. I've never actually started them indoors, so I'm trying a few indoors to try to get an earlier start. And then I will uh, plant some seed right outside as well. So everything's coming along well. So most of the stuff I'll be direct seeding like beans, peas, what else do I have? Corn, a bunch of those types of things. But these are the things that I kind of started ahead of time so that I can get a head start on the season. So don't forget to subscribe to my videos. Make sure you hit the bell as well. Um, YouTube has changed their algorithms so you have to uh, hit that bell to keep notifications coming in. And thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.